tonight's top story. We now know the name of a teenage boy who drowned in Smithfield today. 17-year-old Vincent Albergini was in a canoe when it capsized. It happened on the Pagan River near the Smithfield Center overnight. Ten of your sides, Ann McNamara, talked with people who knew the teen. She joins us now live. Ann? Nicole, Vincent Albergini was a student at the high school here, and there are many heavy hearts in Smithfield tonight, as you can imagine. I'm standing in the spot where Vincent and his two friends launched that canoe and where police launched an investigation when he never made it back. With every passing minute, the search for 17-year-old Vincent Albergini grew more agonizing, missing since 2.15 this morning when his orange canoe capsized in the Pagan River. The other two teenagers on board swam to safety on shore. What they told us is that they were out for a joy ride in their small canoe that they've done this numerous times and that they enjoy going, paddling up and down the Pagan. A joy ride that turned deadly. I don't know, I guess I'm just trying to get as close to what I never thought I would be this close to, if that makes any sense. Justin Allen says his brother Graham was one of the two who survived. Uh, he's real shook up last time I talked to him. It took him a while to get him to bed, but he's, he's just resting. And while his brother rested, Allen watched police use side scan sonar to locate a body just 50 yards from where the canoe flipped. Albergini's mother, father, and grandfather made the dreaded walk to the ambulance to confirm it was him. <laughs> oh, there's really not much to say. There's just things that everybody says. He's a nice kid, he was a bright kid, smart kid. Albergini was known to be a strong swimmer, but not wearing a life preserver. Police say the water temperature was around 50 degrees. But as you know, the cold water affects people differently, and we feel that it affected him very negatively. At the end of this search is the beginning of another. To make peace with the pagan and the pain of loss. Tonight, police are saying they're investigating to see if there will be possible charges. They say it is legal, though, to take out a canoe or a kayak, any small vessel, as long as it does not have a motor. But, Stephanie, they are begging people, if you choose to take out a canoe or a kayak, please follow the proper precautions. And I'm just wondering, what kind of charges? They're, they wouldn't say, they wouldn't elaborate, they just don't want to completely rule that out just yet because, of course, they don't understand exactly why that canoe tipped over as of yet again. They're still investigating. They said they will let us know if they find any possible charges. All right, Nan McNamara, thank you. Of course, this is a sad reminder about the importance of wearing a life jacket. Is that if you go out in a canoe and kayak, be prepared because those vessels do overturn very easily. And if you go in the water during the wintertime months, you should be prepared to, and to go into survival mode. Um, if you don't have the proper equipment, the outcomes are, are not well. It's also a good idea to wear a dry suit when you're on the water in these temperatures. Ten is on your side when it comes to safety on the water. Now, we learned that nine out of ten drowning victims may have survived if they'd been wearing a life jacket. So, make sure you have one and that it is U.S. Coast Guard approved. It should be appropriate for your favorite boating activities and make sure it fits. Life jackets meant for adults don't work for children. And the law says that children under 13 years old must wear one on recreational vessels.